Action. So I'm sticking the head back together today. As you can see, she's got new valves in. Head's all been ground, so sort of nice and clean. So. so first things first, got oil the uh, valve stems, just when it starts up. Then there's no friction or anything. Next thing, stem seals, they just pop on. Those will stick all six or eight of them on. So these are called umbrella seals, because they look like an umbrella. So what happens when the valve pushes down, they just pop up and act as an umbrella so that oil doesn't go down into the bore. <coughs> so that's the first job done. They're all oiled up, caps are on. So next thing, stick your spring and your cap on. So all I'm doing now is just compressing the spring so we can get the collets in which hold the top on the valve stems. There. As you can see there, you can see the little lines there, the grooves which the collets just fit in. So all it does on there, that one goes the other side, it's always a bit fiddly and then you just knock it off, there's one back done. <coughs> so that's the first valve done, so I'm just going to do the rest of the seven and she can go back onto the uh, engine that's been totally rebuilt so I'll just carry on and it's a quick enough job anyway, so. Make sure they're straight. As you can see on the back, it just fits, the pad there just fits on the face of the um, valve just to compress it. So that's the head, um, all the springs are in, all the valves are done. So she's all ready to go back onto the to the engine. So I'm just putting the um, head on the engine. She's got a new liners, new pistons. All the valves are new in the head, so just line this up. And on she goes. We've got all new bolts, um, 
because when you tighten them up, they stretch, so they're all brand spanking. So the bolts, all the head bolts have to be torqued down in a certain sequence, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> Just to stop the head warping. I just get me ratchet. Tighten them up real slightly, just so it's just sitting on top of the block. This one here is a bit too long, so I'm just gonna have to whip the head off and see what the issue is there. So off she goes again. So I removed the head. Um, one of the threads was a bit gnarled into the block, so I um, just tapped it out and stuck all the bolts back in again. Now, so they're they're all finger tight and ready to be torqued down. So the torque setting on these, they're about 65 to 70 foot pound. So I'll do them at 40 first, um, 40 foot pound first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the um, tightening order. So here we go. Try and find meters. Oh great, there's no foot pounds. Action again. Right, so conversion table, 65 foot pounds is 88.1 Newton meters. So. so what I'll do, I'll do it down to 60 Newton meters first and tighten it up and then do a second torque setting then. So here we go. Just tighten them slightly. I just nip it up a small bit before I start talking it. Right, so here we go.
I'll knock it up to 88. There. Right, so here we go. So that's torque down to 65 foot-pound, 88 newton meters. So once this engine's run for about three, 400 miles, we'll torque it down again, and that'll be that done. So next thing's next, um, sticking the push rods. So these are the old push rods, which are grand. Um, if they're aluminium, I might change them like on motorbikes and stuff, but um, yeah, these are fine. So John, done. Now, next thing's next is the rocker. So. To line all these up. <coughs> I'm just going to loosely put the bolts in. Then I'm going to slacken off all the adjusters and then tighten this down to the right torque setting. Let's get a 916 socket. Right, action. So I'm just talk these down. There. Now all I have to do is um, do the valve clearances, and that's that job done. We can get the rest of the engine back together. Um, we can stick a sump back on, the adjuster for the cam chain, and just fit it all back together.